So now that the piece is opened and I've shown the solid model of it, what we need to do next is orient the piece so that it will fit properly on the mill. And as I spoke before, the longest axis of the mill is the x-axis. So I need the longest dimension of this part to lie along the x-axis as well. And so to do that, um, I'm going to use the rotate function. Um, there are other ways of doing that, but I think um, rotate makes the most sense and it's um, the most straightforward for beginners. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just change the view that I'm looking at. And I'm going to click this button here, which will give me um, a front view here. And notice now I'm looking at the XZ plane. And so this here would be the x-axis, right? And left and up and down would be the z-axis. And so what we need to do is rotate this part so such that its long dimension, the longest dimension, lies within the x-axis. And so the way you do that is you hit this x-form button, which brings a drop down, and I'm just going to rotate. I'm going to select it. Notice it says select entities to rotate. To do that, I'm going to click and hold with my left mouse and make a rectangle around the piece and then um, click again and then hit enter. And once I've hit enter, it brings up this dialog box and I want to move the piece. I don't want to copy it. Um, sometimes copy is selected by default and so you need to be aware of that. And so I'm just going to go down here and type in the angle. I want to rotate it counterclockwise by 90 degrees. And so I can click 90 here and then just hit this button here for OK. And it will rotate it counterclockwise by 90 degrees. Notice a positive 90 represents counterclockwise and negative 90 represents clockwise, just in standard mathematics. And so I hit OK and notice it rotates the piece upward. To get maybe a better view, we can hit an isometric view, and we can look at it here. The next thing that we need to do is we need to shift the part down such that the top face, this face here, is at Z0. Typically, when milling, you define Z0 um, at the top of your part, and so that when you're cutting into a piece, you actually go into the negative Z direction. And so you can see that this part, um, the bottom face, is resting at Z0, or at the, the XY plane. And so what we need to do is lower the part down such that it is um, in the XY plane. And so there is a quick way to do that. In fact, there's a, a many, many ways. One way would be to use a translate. You could select and translate it down a known distance. In this situation, it would be the, the thickness of the piece, which is two inches. And so that would work. There's a quicker way to do that, and that is basically this button here that says Move to Origin. So if I click Move to Origin, I can select any part or any point on the surface here and make that point the origin. And so, in fact, I'm going to make this point the origin right here. And you can see that it's now shifted down and so that the top of the piece is resting in the XY plane. And this back corner is our origin. On the mill, we call this origin the work offset. And everything will be measured off of this point. Many times people use this corner as the origin. And notice I could move it here and X form. I could go move to origin and click here. By convention, in um, my, um, I teach my students when milling um, pieces like this, we use the back corner as the origin. And the reason why is this piece will be held in a vise. And in fact, this piece will be held in two vices. And the vices will fit around the part and clamp the part into place. Now the back side of the vise would rest here, and the front side of the vise would rest here. The back side of the vise never moves, and so when you rotate your part to do another side, 